Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We've been talking about the rapture of the church. We've spent an extended time talking about the rapture of the church. Why is it so important? Because we know that that, that is the next event on God's prophetic calendar. That nothing has to occur in order for the rapture of the church to take place. We believe, I believe that the rapture of the church is imminent. It means it can happen at any time. And today, I want to talk about the shocking truth about the rapture. The shocking truth is, is that not everyone who thinks they're saved uh, will be um, uh, raptured out of this church, uh, out of this world. They think they're saved, but they're not really saved. Look what it says in Matthew chapter 7, 21 through 22. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And the passage goes on to say, Depart from me, I never knew you. In other words, there are many people who think they're saved, who who may attend a good church or a, a church who who do noble things, but in truth they've never repented of their sins and they've never uh, received Christ as Savior. They've never believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Oh, maybe they believed when it was convenient. Maybe they believed when some trouble came up in their life and they decided they were going to pray and ask for God's deliverance. But uh, in truth, their life has never been changed. There, there is no desire for the Word of God. There's no thing, uh, desire for the things of God. Uh, uh, God is a convenience and uh, sometimes an annoyance uh, where, where, whereby we have to attend church on Easter and Christmas and, and whatever religious holidays and events that may come up. But other than that, we, we give no thought to God in our life. There are many, many, I think the vast majority of people who attend a church. Now, I say church, a church is absolutely important, but attending church does not uh, cause one to be uh, to be a believer. You must believe. The Bible says you believe on Jesus and him and him alone, not in a catechism, not in good works. We are saved by Jesus Christ, repenting of our sins repenting of this life that we've lived, and receive him as Savior. And so there are going to be many who's, who are going to wake up one day, and the rapture of the church is going to take place. They're going to be sitting with somebody who in a, in a business meeting, and all of a sudden they're going to be left behind. You want you about the person on the plane. All of a sudden they're there and they're gone. That person in... Um, in uh, sitting beside you in church, uh, are, is, are no longer there. You know, that idea that you're going to be left behind if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. And I think there's a false sense uh, of people who think they're saved and they're not. And uh, that is the shocking truth of the rapture. Many will be shocked that they have been left behind. So the question of all questions, will you be left behind? Have you trusted Christ as your Savior? Have you seen a change in your life, change in your attitude towards the things of sin and towards the things of God? Have you, have you desired to turn your back on the things that once enticed you, seduced you, caused you to stumble and fall away from God? Have you turned your back on those things and and and, stri and and started striving for God? If not, my friends, you need to make sure you're saved. You need to make sure you've trusted Christ as your Savior because he's coming. He's going to come in an hour, in a moment that you think not. Are you prepared? Are you are, are you ready or are you going to be left behind? Let me encourage you right now. If you're not saved, if you're not 100% sure you're born again, you need to get on your knees. You need to fall on your knees right now. No matter where you are, you need to fall on your knees. You need to be, beg God and ask him for forgiveness of your sins, to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and sin transgression and iniquity and ask him to come into your life and save you.
And you know what? He will. Why don't you pray, dear Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. Cleanse me. Make me yours. I receive Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as my Savior today. In your precious name I pray. Amen. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.